Hi everybody, it's Christina, the Tech Savvy Science Teacher here again to show you the final step of Gradecam. So I'm going to show you how to actually grade all these bubble sheets that the students have filled out. So when you log in and you see your page, you're going to click on the quiz or test that you would like to grade. Hi everybody. And now you're going to see a list of all the students. This happens to be the demo class. Then I can click over here and I can do my biology class. To be honest with you, it doesn't really matter what you start off with because the computer will recognize what class you have when you're starting to scan. So I'm going to show you two different ways to scan. This first way would be if you're scanning it just for yourself. So all I'm going to do is take my sheet, hold it up to the camera, and it's going to recognize it. And there it goes. It has graded it. And you can see here, it gives me the percent that they've gotten. And it's also given me which questions they have gotten wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for my next student. Perfect score. And you can see how quickly this actually grades them. So this takes very little time. And you can, there's even an app, oops, if I line up properly, to do it on your iPad as well. Let me show you another view. Let's say you are grading these right in front of the students because they took a quick quiz and you want to give them feedback right away. You can click on student view and this blocks out all the other information so that the students are not seeing the grades from their other classmates. So I'm going to go ahead and grade this one. Now again, JT can see what he got, and now when I'm ready for the next student, all I'm doing right now is pressing the space bar, and the assignments have gone. And one more. Oop, hello. There we go. Ooh, Chip did not do so well. And lastly, we have Mary. Now on Mary's, I don't know if you can see this in the little camera, but you see how she made a cross out? This is very easy to fix. First off, I just need to go back. So I'm going to click Escape. And now I'm back here. I can click on Mary. And all right, so let's see. There we go. I can click on Mary. Why is it not? Oh, there we go. Click on Mary. I'm going to click on Edit because I see, oh, she bubbled in two things by mistake. So I can click on Edit. And then I can go over to the one where she bubbled the two things and uncheck the one, whichever one she actually had answered. And actually, in this case, Mary crossed out the correct answer. And then click Save. Then the next thing I'd want to do is go to my summary. This gives me a quick view of what percent each students uh, of students were in each category. But what I feel is more important is this item analysis. I like to look at this because I can see not only which questions did they get wrong, but what were they choosing? So for this one, I'm looking, ooh, number 13, a lot of people got it wrong. And the people who got it wrong, 50% of them chose B. What was it about choice B that tripped them up? would bring me up just a quick kind of view. I can get a report detailing each student. If I had multiple, I can do my stats by student. I could see it this way. I can do stats based on classes. If I had another class that was taking this, I could see what the other class was doing. And it's interesting if I say, hmm, everybody in period one seemed to be quitting, getting question nine wrong, but if I had period two showing up, they all got question nine right. What was I doing that was different between the two classes? So that's pretty much how to do, um, how to grade things. I do want to show you one thing, and you have the option right here. It says try grade cam three beta. So I'm going to click on that and show you how it looks a little bit different. There you go. But one of the nice things is when I am actually 
scanning, let's go into something right here. We go. And when I'm scanning them, in this case, I'm going to click right here. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to click on the camera. Oh, allow to use the camera. There we go. Hi again. I'm going to go up here to this little cog wheel and click on it. And then it says verify questions that are blank or have extra answers. So in this case, it'll prompt me each time a student has more than one answer for a question or if they left a blank. So this, if you're willing to go into this beta version, so this is a second version that they're trying out, it actually has some nice features in it. So I hope that this has helped you out. If there's anything else that I can do to help you out with great camera, you know in the comments or feel free to shoot me an email. Talk to you soon. Bye.